going to show you this really cool way to use ChatGPT to help you create an almost unlimited number of prompts for mid-journey and stable diffusion images. Let's jump right into it. The best part about this is it works for virtually any type of image that you want to generate. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to ask ChatGPT, what are the key elements of the best automotive photography? What it's going to do is it's going to come back to us with a list of all the key elements that you want to look for visually when you're creating amazing automotive photography. You notice when it finishes, it comes back with a list that we would expect. It has things like the lighting, the composition, the background, the perspective, details of the actual vehicle itself, any post-processing, and of course, creativity. Now, here's the really powerful part of this. What we're going to ask next is using these elements, make a table with five rows of example data where the first column is the brand, make, and model of a sports car. Now, again, you could replace the word sports car with virtually anything. You could come up with a list of food items, for example. But let's see what this comes back with. Okay, now we have back a list. So you can see the very first column, the brand, make, and model, Ferrari 488 GTB, lighting, soft, natural light during sunset, composition, rule of thirds, showcasing the curves of the car, Background, simple, unobtrusive backgrounds of a cityscape. Perspective, low angle, emphasizing the car's sleek lines. And then close-up shot of the car's wheels and brake calipers. We can go ahead and just grab this line here, copy it, and we can drop this directly into Stable Diffusion. We'll see what we get back. And making no other changes, let's go ahead and generate four images with the prompt that was given to us. And here's what it gave us. And I've got to say, overall, I'm pretty blown away by this. Not only are the results high quality, but they're exactly what you'd look for if you were wanting to create some amazing automotive photography. Let's go ahead and grab another line and see what it comes back with. Another cool thing you can do here is you can say, give me row five, comma separated. This is going to go ahead and give you row five from the table, but it's going to comma separate it. So it's a little bit easier to distinguish once you drop this into stable diffusion. Now you notice that this prompt is significantly different than the other one. So it's an Aston Martin DBS Super Ligara. Soft diffuse lighting with gentle reflections, symmetrical composition showing the car's elegance, dramatic natural landscape. But the last piece is the most interesting, close-up shot of the car's leather upholstery and dashboard detailing. So this is actually going to generate an interior shot, or at least it should. Let's see what Stable Diffusion came back with. And as the prompt suggested, the very first image it came back with is a beautiful shot of the interior. And then we get some very nice exterior shots of the vehicle as well. And I've got to say these compositions are quite nice overall. I'm very pleased with the way that came back. And the best part about this is you can ask it for more rows. You could have this generate 100 rows, 1,000 rows. It doesn't matter. It's going to come back with an almost seemingly randomized list each time. So you can use this to create almost an unlimited number of permutations of whatever prompt you're trying to create. Let's try this with something else a little bit different. For our second example, we're going to ask it to come back with the key elements of the best landscape photography. You can see that the columns that we get back for this are actually quite different than the automotive prompt we had earlier. Composition is the same, lighting. We also get color, depth of field, sharpness, timing, and subject matter. So we're going to say, using these elements, make a table with five rows of example data where the first column is the type of landscape. And you can see that all the fields that come back make sense for the type of landscape you're taking a photo of. So for example, forests, you see it's midday, overcast, sharp focus, green and earth tones, trees, streams, fallen leaves. That makes sense. You can see for beaches, it's wave, sand, and seashells for the subject matter. So let's say write out row three, comma separated. We'll create four images in stable diffusion. Now the prompt for this is forest, foreground interest, patterns, soft light, green, and earth tones, deep depth of field, sharp focus throughout, midday or overcast, trees, streams, and fallen leaves. These are actually quite stunning. So you can see the adherence to the prompt is nice. It has that, that short, narrow depth of field, here it looks like a stream is running through. You have the leaves on the ground. You have a little bit of water running through here as well. Very nice adherence to the prompt overall. I really want to see examples of what you all come up with this. I've applied this to things like food, nature, automotive, even interior design and architecture. Now I have a free Discord channel where we share prompts like these. So be sure to join that link in the description. And let me know if you come up with anything interesting yourself. As always, I'm Brian Levitt. This is All Your Tech AI. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.